<laughs> Gary!
Are you really from the wasteland? What? It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Shauna runs the museum, not me. What the hell do you want? Dave made me second commander of the army of Dave. And that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use it. All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave. So don't bother me. And don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives and they have work they need to do. Dave is in charge. When he's not around, I'm in charge. If you want anything else, go to the Museum of Dave on the left side of the compound. Oh. Oh yeah? What about it? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader just like my grandpa Tom did for him. Yeah, I'll show him. When I'm in charge, everyone will have to say I'm as good as Dave. Better even. Just don't bother me. I've got stuff to do for Dave. Let's get class started. But I already know everything about President it. Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are, you are bad. Are really from the wasteland? President Daddy says wow. the people from outside the Republic are bad. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Sure, the Museum of Dave is happy to answer any questions on behalf of the Republic of Dave's Office of Tourism. President Dave is the savior of the wasteland, bringing peace and order to the savages man has brought upon himself. If you would like to learn more, 
please stop by the Museum of Dave's official tour at 2 p.m. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. How very Dave-like. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Hmm. I don't know that he stands much of a chance against Dave. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Anything else? Bye. Dave says you're okay? Fine. You should talk to Dave, but okay. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. He takes care of all of us, even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. All I have to say is Dave is my husband, mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. First wife, Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization back to the wasteland. One day, they'll say it all started here. Okay. I'll help you if I can. No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Anything else? You're safe as long as Dave says so. Out with it, Ambassador. This Republic isn't going to run itself. Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? An opponent? Seriously? But, but, wait, no, this is a free republic. Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the republic to run for office. So you do not qualify. Anything else? Very well. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Sure, honey, but don't make it too long or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the Wasteland. 
So, now we have a second wife. Huh. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has Arshana teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for mm, many years now. We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. Sure, honey. Election time is always exciting around here. Um, I don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You're right. Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. You're right. I'll go right now. Fingers crossed. Dave says you're okay? I guess you're right. I'll go right now. Trust. All done. Dave's the best. Yes? What can President Dave do for you? Wasteland? You'd better get out wow. of here if you know what's good for you. Something you need? Oh, yes. Everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. You should stop by then. I'd never really thought about that before. Why do you ask? Oh, wonderful. I'd be happy to accept your contribution on behalf of the Republic. And Dave just increased the budget for the museum this year, too. I was going to buy books for the children, but this is far more important. Great. What do you have? Wonderful items for the Museum of Dave. Oh, no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. Yes? What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. Fine, I'll get out of the way. Ah, uh, Dave, lead our Republic to glory. Yes? Yes? What can President Dave do for you? Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Let's see what we have here. A vote for me, and a 
another vote for me. A vote for Rosie. Bob? Hey. hey. Hmm. Anything going After on? Counting the votes, the I president is. Bye. Well, despite the hiccup, it looks like I am still declared the winner. Evening. Hey there. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. I didn't win it, huh? Well, there'll always be other elections. Later. Something you need? Did Dave win it again? I voted for him, you know. Bye. You're almost as big as Dave. Yes? What can... The of course, as President of the Republic, I have a mandate to repopulate the wasteland. Well, good for you then. Very well.